Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jersey Pilot 83 here. So, a very sad, sad announcement when Vans announced their laser cut part issue. Um, I really have no words to say, but we're all builders, we're all pilots, we're all in this together. Yes, it's Van's fault for whoever signed off on that. That's, I don't think they meant any harm by it. I think they were overwhelmed with the, I guess, back order of parts and the more demand and lower supply made them source to another means and basically go with laser cutting. Uh, I have the RV-10, as you all know, and right behind me are all my fuselage laser cut parts. I am not putting one laser cut part on my airplane. I decided that a while ago when I first heard about this. And yeah, for resale value, that's a big one. And safety, right? I read the engineering reports. And the good thing about that is they did a very conservative analysis. Very conservatively, they did a test on all parts of the plane and the that made them determine this list. Now there's RV, all the RV models, mine being the 10, so I printed out the 10. And there's red, yellow, purple, blue, and green. So red and yellow are the most important two to look out for. So when this came out, the fuselage didn't have really much of anything on it. And of course, that's the part I didn't start yet, which sucks because I have the tail cone done, the wings are done besides the bottom skins, and all the control services are done. Aileron, flaps, elevator, rudder, horizontal and vertical stabilizer. They're all done. And they have the most problems. And I, I just don't know what to say, really. I don't. Um, I'm sure a lot of other builders out there have it a tenfold worse than I do. But what do we do? What do we do? Now, I made a list. I typed up a list of all the laser parts on the fuselage and that's all right here so I have been waiting on an email answer from Vans that I sent a week and a half ago questioning a question as to I want to return all these back I will pay for return shipping I will pay for shipping back to Vans but I want to return these get a credit on my account towards the engine or whatever I have coming and get the discount on the other parts Right? That's what I want to do. And they haven't responded. I called them yesterday. I called them earlier. They just keep ringing the phone and I get it. They're busy. They're backlogged. They're answering calls from so many people that I'm sure have a lot worse issue than I do. So, um, let me show you what I have to do here. Basically, I am going to rebuild my entire elevators. Um, I don't like now the elevator the elevator main spar is not laser cut but because I saw a picture of it in the in the um, in the inventory sheet but I know my outboard rib is laser cut I know the trim tab spar is laser cut and I, I just didn't like how they came out. I mean, there's a couple oopsies in the bottom. Uh, you really can't tell. Well, you can tell now, but when it's sanded and painted, you really can't tell. So I'm just going to, instead of drilling out these, and I didn't like how the skin came together on the leading edge of the elevator here. So I'm just going to rebuild my elevators and um, call it a day. But here is all my laser cut part issues. 
right? There's about 25 pieces here, and I don't want these on the airplane. I don't. Okay. All right, guys, so the most important part of my issue here is the wing, the wing halves. I have, like I said in the beginning of my video, I have the wings totally done with the exception of the bottom skins and the zip tips. And it says, only ribs connected to the flap bracket are affected. And it says it may be difficult to replace, we know that, and they're trying to come up with an alternative solution to fix the problem. So that's basically all my concern is right now, my main concern, let me show you guys, the wing, right? Let me turn this light on here for you. So, <laughs> this is it. I have everything here assembled and what they're talking about, the ones in the yellow, that rib there, that rib there, and the inboard most rib right here. They're all attached to the flat bracket, right? Pretty much self-explanatory. But how the hell am I gonna get this out of here? How? <sighs> right guys? Um, you know what? I just, just thinking about it right now, I'm getting a little ag aggravated again. But I'm trying to keep my cool and you know, things happen. It is what it is. Um, I am not keeping any of these laser cut parts on the airplane. So whatever has to happen, these are coming out. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna have to drill on the top of the skin. I gotta drill out all of these and then we'll take off the fuel tank again, take off the aileron flap and drill out all these double O plates here. I, I don't even know yet, but yeah, it's gonna have to happen. So also a more of a minor detail. Let me get this light over here. So the outboard and inboard ribs on the ailerons have to be replaced because they were laser cut. Everything else on the aileron is all good to go. And that again, like I said, I did verify it. I did check my inventory pictures and that is, I saw them in blue plastic and the only two that were not in blue plastic were the inboard and outboard aileron ribs. As far as the flaps, everything is in blue plastic. So <laughs> this, I guess will be pretty easy to take apart because it's on the very inboard side of the wing on the root side. So I don't think it'll be as difficult to do as the other two here. So guys, in summary here, I know it sucks and I'm sure other people have a lot bigger of a problem than I do, but I just wanted to share you my story of how this laser cut part issue is affecting myself and my build. So I apologize if I have not uploaded any videos lately because I have to deal with all this. Now it's not as bad as I thought and I'm sure other people have it worse. So with that being said guys, enjoy your weekend, happy building, happy flying, and like and subscribe to my channel for future updates and to follow along as I build my airplane in my garage. Take care, be well, have a good weekend.